Hi, this is Ashwini and welcome back. In this video, we are covering a Docker architecture. So if you ask someone like uh, who doesn't know a Docker, like what is a Docker architecture? So they will found a three important component, right? Three important component like about a Docker, the Docker engine, Docker registry and Docker CLI. And if you go on the internet and if you search a Docker uh, architecture, you will find all these uh, weird images. I'm not saying this is a wrong images. Okay, these are perfectly fine images. Okay. Uh, by any blog or any article uh, they have uh, came through it right so uh, if you found all these images uh, when i was learning a docker i was not able to understand like what all these things are uh, going without having any understanding you are not able to understand what the docker architecture is so let me make your work easy and uh, let me give you the complete understanding of our architecture of a docker so after that you will just go all these images you can understand and any uh, things about the docker of this this video okay so if you say me hey ashwini what is a docker is so i will say first like okay go through these three component that is an important component of a docker like docker engine registry and cli okay so first give me the basic idea about all these components but let me know one thing these are not only component which related to docker there are more component and more basic and low level component that uh, is uh, really uh, people are uh, talk about those right because when you go for architecture people talk about the outer layer and say like docker if you throw a command like this an image is come and continue and build and after the docker finish okay but okay let understand how the docker is okay so if i say you like uh, you are having your uh, system and like vm or machine right somewhere so i will give you this system right uh, so you say me okay if we are having a one system and here your resources are available okay here your resources i say what are the resources you ask me hey actually what resources you are talking about so this resources are kind of your hardware like motherboard and all those kind of things right or mouse and keyboards and all okay and after that you are having a other component that is uh, your operating system right either it is a, a linux based operating system and or it is a, a windows kind of okay okay uh, now on top of that if you have an operating system you have your hardware and your operating system on top of that what you will do you will go to enter and say docker download right so it depends on whether what kind of operating system you are using you will download a docker when you download a docker you will found out two things right there are docker engine and docker cli uh, with their installation package okay so what is it here docker so i will put here a different color uh, that is uh, let me remove this docker okay and on top of that if you say uh, okay uh, from all those things uh, you got a docker right docker engine or whatever okay just think it this you got a docker after installation or like your installation process on top of that you are having uh, this guy okay here this guy is called a registry i will tell you just give me one minute like what all those things is and here uh, this guy is cli okay uh, this weird guy is here docker cli what it is docker cli so this is a docker registry and this is a docker cli let's suppose you want to up a hello world or single kind of uh, one image right and uh, first let's complete uh, these two guys let's talk about uh, this guy number one and this two and later we will talk about a docker engine okay so what is a cli if you ask me hey ashwini what is a cli is okay so uh, you will when you install a docker you will found a kind of uh, cmd or terminal i will say with a prompt and here you will type uh, something docker run start stop whatever right and if you want to up some images just you will communicate with the uh, help of docker cli command line interface right if you are having this uh, background knowledge of programming this is a basic thing right like if you get an environment you get an environment to talking to the docker image Uh, sorry docker engine like you fire a query from here anything like you will fire any query from here it will directly go to the like this person is a cli right this person is communicating to the docker engine right and it will communicate to the docker registry here and it will say okay bro like uh, this person is asking something something uh, kind of images right and do you have this image just like uh, 
uh, let me give you the example like you have a something private repository plus do not compare it with the repositories kind of things okay docker containerization and a repository or maven repository total are different thing okay do not match up all those things okay i just give me a formal example like you have somewhere some places you store that right like uh, if i have something like five rupees okay my friend came and say okay do you have a change of five rupees or something if i check do if i have those i will give to my friend right this kind of concept is coming here but do not mix all those uh, maven and kind of things okay so if you say okay docker images if you don't have an idea what a docker image is virtualization hypervisor and containerization just let me know i will make a, a dedicated video on that so we will not discuss and uh, mess up all those uh, architecture thing okay but it will go to docker images and say okay okay this is asking some kind of image uh, do, do you have this okay yeah i have this so it will come and images and what is the images video software package uh, like whole package thing and instruction and what is instruction instruction like how you can run this uh, instruction for the docker engine like uh, how you run those container right or like uh, made the content out of that images so once it get that like image it will run a container here and what it is uh, it is a container so these are the three basic things like first is CLI second registry and docker engine right but this is a simple right if you say Ashwini right you are saying these are the basic component and what is the difficult thing it is here right one guy is talking to the docker engine docker engine talking to the registry if registry have some kind of images then it will give back if it is nothing have then we will discuss what is the output in that case right let's suppose example like we i want to be run uh, uh, a container out of some image right so i just fire a query and query will go to the registry registry will throw our images to the docker engine and docker engine run a container out of that image okay now are the important part this is a basic understanding if someone doesn't know a docker then this is a basic understanding for them now the important part is docker engine uh, what i'm doing here the docker uh, engine if you talk about docker engine this is a very important part why i'm saying this is a very important part because this is containing a three more uh, part like first part is here uh, what it is if you say docker daemon okay and second part is a container d okay and third main important or we can say a low level component that is run c okay so let me first discuss all these two things okay and uh, for making you understand all these two things let me go to the background and uh, make you understand why these component introduced in a, why this component came up with you. so let me create a story for you okay so let's suppose you are having uh, these two like docker team okay you are having a docker team and uh, we having a couple of guy in this team right these are a couple of guys and they give us some set of specification and some set of rules to make a images to make a images and this is a image and this is a platform like docker these, these are the docker team and they give a specification to make an image uh, just let me one uh, one thing if you are making a something for your platform is it possible that same kind of software or image is run on another system okay what i'm trying to make you understand like uh, we, if we talk about a java people if they doesn't make a, a java a platform independent right uh, how they become a more popular in this world right so that's why and initially the docker people make their image uh, according to that some standard the image can only run on their platform okay but after that uh, some people came like these people uh, came in a picture and who are these uh, people is we call them a group of people uh, OCR open container initiative specification okay these are not a docker team these people are not a docker team they are just like general developer and group of them we call as OCR they give some set of instruction these are some set of instruction right and what they told like okay this is an open world okay this is an open world what is this open world 
if someone making a images right in like in coding we follow a some uh, set of programming instruction and the code is converted into the binary code right the same thing follow with the images if someone creating an image let's suppose this is the docker team in future if someone uh, xyz team is uh, making an image or creating an image like they create an image they will also follow this oci standard and docker team also follow our doci standard okay oci standard so what happen now this standard need to be follow for making any images so what docker team introduce docker team introduce our docker d this the container d sorry i'm saying docker d this container d what it is doing if some image is a docker image okay like if some some image a docker image it converted that image into the oci image okay it converted into the oci image if there is a run c right uh, what run c is doing uh, let me uh, make a diagram for you then you will understand in a better way so in previous we are having these kind of uh, diagram here we are having your resources right here we are having your os and here we are having docker engine so here now in docker engine the first thing is docker daemon uh, like i am writing uh, directly docker daemon here and second is container d and third thing is run c okay and here uh, this guy is cli and this guy is registry right so when cli making a command or making a query it will go to the daemon and daemon say okay this command is wrong or right it will throw to the container d container d ask to the registry you are having this images or not it say okay i am having this images but this is a docker image so what container d it do it will convert it that images into the oci image what image into the oci image because there is a standard which all companies or and all developers are following and what run c is doing run c is a low level component low level component which directly communicating to the your os now these two components which we talking about this first one and second one only communicating at once when cli throw a command now after it if you say okay after getting a images just run a container here if you run a container now in container what you having your libs and bins and kind of things right now this directly communicate to your run c not your daemon not your container only this program like container is a program right it's uh, when we are taking out of image and run a container on top of that it is a program only so that program can uh, directly communicate to your run c and run c communicate to your os i hope you understand this whole uh, uh, docker process right uh, docker three main component like docker engine or registry and cli and about in docker you having a three component that is first run c and uh, after that container d right and first one is daemon right so i hope you are understanding all these things if you have any doubt just comment it down i'm happy to uh, help you and uh, if you are having some other topic to cover just let me know i will see you in the next video bye bye